Welcome to Christina Reads All Day. If you're listening on the podcast, if you're here on YouTube, then welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am reviewing The 20th Victim by James Patterson. I read all of James Patterson's books. This is the 20th book in his Women's Murder Club series. So if you have not read his Women's Murder Club series, it centers around four women. You have Lindsay, who is a police officer in San Francisco. You have Cindy, who is a crime reporter for the San Francisco Chronicle. You have Claire, who is the medical examiner, and you have Yuki, who is a prosecutor. And all of the stories involve these four women in some way, shape, or form. In The 20th Victim, Lindsay is investigating a series of murders, not just in San Francisco, but all over the country. They all kind of connect. Somebody is killing drug dealers. So as Lindsay's investigating this, Cindy is writing about it. And Claire is sick. She has an illness. And then Yuki is trying a case. A man is accused of a crime, has to do with a drug dealer. So even though you have four different stories happening here, they all kind of tie in together. And that's what happens in every single one of his Women's Murder Club books. I'll just get straight to the point. This book gets five out of five stars. Very rarely does a James Patterson book get less than five stars just because they're so good I read them so fast. Something that I think is helpful is his chapters are super short. They're usually just like one or two pages long, sometimes three or four pages long at the most. I don't think you'll ever see a chapter longer than five pages. And at the end of every chapter, there's a cliffhanger that makes you wanna keep on reading. And because they're so short, you're like, oh, let me just read one more. And then a day, two days later, you've read the entire book. I'm a big fan of the Women's Murder Club series. I remember when I worked as a TV reporter in Beaumont, Texas, I think it was in 2007, 2008, this was a show. It was a show on one of the networks, and I remember the person who played the police officer, Lindsay Boxer, was Angie Harmon? Harriman? I don't know how you say her name. And it only lasted one season. I was so disappointed, and I remember the reporter, Cindy, was played by somebody who I watched on Guiding Light growing up. She had red hair i don't remember her name but she played marina on guiding light i loved the show it only lasted one season it's a good series james patterson has a few he has the alex cross ones which are super popular he has the women's murder club he's got michael bennett again another detective a lot of um his books have to deal with crime there's always a detective so it's a good one i like the 20th victim i rate this one five out of five stars and I will be back when he's got a 21st something or other. Don't know what it's gonna be, maybe 21st birthday, who knows, we'll see. That should be out soon. While you're here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, whether you're here on the podcast or you are here on the YouTube channel. I appreciate you taking the time to read my book reviews and find me on social media. I am at Christina all day. You can send me your book recommendations. And for all of the previous book recommendations that I've done, you can also find those on my blog at ChristinaAllDay.com.